I guess David's gonna have to eat a fat one. Well, I think I am gonna start this way instead of end this way this time, because we missed it last night, so. First comment, Smile Money says, do a shot of tequila <laughs> to get this ball rolling. Yeah, we'll start there. And yeah, at least you're not uh, by yourself wearing jammies. And if David can't see us, then Oop, dude. Jesus Christ. He's like. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. So then again, the only thing I've had today is coffee, half a thing of water, and the bubbly. No lunch? No, I was getting so much done sanding, I didn't want to stop. Okay. Hey, lunch up. Yeah. Camera rolling? I don't know. Cheers. 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 Oh, that gets my camera rolling. <sighs> What could go wrong? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And a Modelo. <coughs> Not as good as Bud Light, but it's Modelo. <laughs> you know why I'd buy this? Because it's not Bud Light. <laughs> Even mm. though uh, some people are... Did you, did you see the interview with Kid Rock? He actually, he actually, uh, he actually sat down with the CEO of Bud, and the and the guy was like, "Yeah, we, we fucked up." <laughs> and Kid Rock said, "You know what? A company like that, you have to appreciate the fact that not all of their employees feel the way that this want that stupid idiot, the female that was in charge of the advertising." And C Kid Rock said that they shook hands, and I mean. Yeah, Kid, he, Ro Kid, Kid Rock <laughs> bulldozed all that beer, so I mean, it's... Oh, and he also had a full yeah, auto. MP5, yeah. <laughs> now, but the question is, will you fuck the trans representative? <laughs> yeah, I get to watch a fucking trans lady prance around at my job all day. Okay, like so this. we fixed, we fixed, fi hopefully fixed 50% of the complaints. Adjusted the no level of the mics down. Just a little bit. And there's nothing we can do about that but make it brighter. You know, if we would have done the brewery view an hour earlier, <laughs> yeah, now the sun true. comes out. But you know what? You want to see this. I need to see this. I have a deck ready to stain tomorrow morning. Yeah, I guess we could film in front of the boat, but then we'd have to put every... We could film from the boat. <laughs> That'd be fun. I thought about opening it with us sitting in the boat with rods, you know, with, with the thing in the boat. And then like, hey, because the seats are really comfortable in that, baby. Hey. Well, what are we looking at today? I'm sure you've already reviewed it on the channel, on this channel, actually. I know have you. I? Yeah, I think so. And I know you and me have uh, drank it. So Mankato's an uh, hour north of here, an uh, hour closer to Jolson's. Yeah. Drove right past Jolson, drove past Din. I mean, hell, if I throw a stone, I might be able to hit uh, Rich, Rich's house. Um, I don't know anything about it. Ruby Rhubarb Sour 5.0. Rhubarb, Ruby is a smooth tart who is delighted, fully sour, incredibly sassy, and tougher than everyone else this side of the river. I like the can art. You can drink it. I don't know why I like the can art. It's an empowered female. <laughs> yeah, if she had red spiky hair, I, I, I could see Caitlin looking like that. I like the color. I like the color of the beer. It doesn't mean anything really, but. <laughs> the color. It looks like beer, but it's got almost like a reddish. Well, that's right, I'll get, I'll get yelled at by Jeremy if I don't do this right. Hold the beer up. Looks like you got it, bro. Yeah, it's definitely a deep amber. Yeah, like 
It reminds me of Dos Equis Amber. I really like Dos Equis Amber. I'd like it if you'd Dos me. <laughs> I am kind of hungry. Well, this would be a snack. <laughs> a little protein in my diet. Yeah. As Nyhap says, the, cur the curse of the Irish. <laughs> it's an any. There's a video out there of some Irish construction guy in New York, and he uh, staples his penis to a board. Oh. And the, th you know, the thing is like that big to start with. And it's like, dude. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that, I guess. <laughs> you, or not to even think be, about yeah, it. Yeah, let's just not even think about it. Sorry I even met, brought it up. Well, I think I'm actually going to... We should take this here. This is should have been prior, I guess. But well, it's. Well, I don't even know if it's. I don't even know if you can. Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh, that is such a beautiful gun. Oh yeah, you can't see it with the brightness of the. What's that chambered in? Twenty-two. <laughs> I wish. Well, yeah, it is five five six, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just with. Oh, that's that's right. That shoots that round that can uh, blow up a tank. Yeah. Did you? Drink this yet? No. Oh, cheers. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. First, saying first is smile, honey, and I hope your day somehow got better. Mm. Then J Dog saying first actually being second place. Rich Huff says, cheers all. Then Rich says, picked up a 12 pack of assorted Madol chiladas today. I will let you know what I think. The, pineapp the pineapple one is already a little disappointing. Oh shit. I read that comment and I didn't know that Modelo made uh, a sampler pack. And I don't know, Rich, do you like Modelo by itself? I know they have Modelo and Modelo Negro. And I wasn't a fan of the Negro. And he says, can says natural flavors, but the taste is slightly artificial. Now, I do know that they have a, a lime because Salty sent me a picture at his liquor store. Oh. That might be good. Yeah. And this is just a touch of lime. I like more tomato than lime. Okay, I'll read. Poco says, sup. What's up, Poco? Then he says, uh... Great, you're eating with Jeremy, overly sensitive uh, Chinese crap, Mike, and I'm being basically using headphones. Well, if when you say crap, you mean uh, $800, yeah, I guess. Not eight, they were 250 a set, that's five. Oh, well, what about that, the receiver? Comes with it. So they are, ch they're, they're Chinese mics, but they are the best Chinese mics that I've ever used. And there was one video when I was, I told Eric this yesterday, I think I was shooting in 35 mile an hour wind and there was the only mic that was reliable and cut out all the wind noise. I mean, all of it. So they are very good mics and both mics actually have volume controls on them. It's just, I've never used them tandemly. This so, is a first. Right. This is a first for me. So to be able to uh, experiment, like I said, it's an experiment. And uh, and today he switched it f from stereo to mono. Yeah, so instead of left, right. Yeah, so yesterday Jeremy was coming out that speaker of the of my uh, laptop, and which is kind of cool because it's like it's that way. But if you know, if you only have a mono stereo what or whatever. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> so now now both of us come through both speakers, and or maybe both of us only come through one speaker. Mono, it, mono should be one, mm -hmm. right? One side. So I don't know how it's gonna work, but maybe we're just talking in your left earphone right now, Poco. But um, it's, Ho hopefully it's both. It J is. I can tell by the camera. J Dog says here at home. Hi, J Dog. You're cute. And Poco <laughs> says I can't believe Jeremy eats worse than Miles. Yeah, and I think he was referring to me licking my fingers because I that garlic. I was like. Din says maybe he's bulimic from all the drinking. I think I have a problem. But I have cut back, and unlike Eric. Eric's ramped up, and I don't drink during the week anymore at all. I drink on the weekends. 
but this week is an exception because I'm um, bringing you down. Is that what you're no, saying? No, I don't get to it's drink a, with you a, very often uh, as a good family member. Grab my ankle. You're coming with, bitch. No, I have been very strict <laughs> about not drinking during the week at all. So uh, that's been really good as far as, and it may, I actually feel better when I don't drink all week heavily. I think my nightly drinking is nine to 12 shots of vodka every night for the last six years. And I don't mean just, I mean drinks, you know, three, four oh, yeah, shot maybe. drinks, you know, but I'm uh, definitely got into her, but I had to substitute the smoking weed with something. Well, all I'll say is, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've had a little, a little extra stress and depression associated with yeah. it, and I, I think uh, it's drink to forget. Well, I'm, I hope I'm at least just giving you one foot out of, uh, out of the bottom of the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just one foot. I mean, I, uh, See, this if, is if a, you stayed for two weeks, it'd be this, double the this price. This is a threefold thing. <laughs> the first and most important aspect of me being here is that I'm helping somebody, some my family members that I care about. Yeah. Because if I was, if I had, <laughs> let's just say Trump was still in office. Excuse me. And I had seven thousand dollars in cash in my safe. Yeah. I would just come down and give you a hand. Right. So I thank you for helping financially, but yeah. I'm also doing stuff that's in my, as Nyhap would say, wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, this is like. You know, I, I I get up and make some coffee, throw my clothes on, and head over to Grandpa's house. And I'm like, I know. this is, you know, it's it's me getting to do stuff that I feel comfortable about. And there ain't somebody standing there yelling at me or acting like everything I do isn't good enough. And you're sleeping at night, which is cool. I'm glad you're getting a good night's sleep. That, or, I, that, that, I have no problems with the comfort level of that bed. Good. Good. Thank you. Maybe, maybe it's the... The, the sleep, <laughs> the snuggle buddy, the sleep, the, the sleeping buddy, the sleep buddy that Caitlin, Caitlin gives you gives me, yeah, a little drop on the tongue never hurt anybody. <laughs> but uh, that that's like ding, the timer has started. Two and a half hours from right now, be in bed. Yeah. So Eric's actually taking three drops of Adrenochrome right before he goes to bed. Now I'm going to do the YouTuber thing again. Comment down in the comment section below if you know what adrenochrome is. And get in depth because I know Eric doesn't know what adrenochrome is. And the history of adrenochrome and the Hillary Clinton adrenochrome use, possibly, allegedly. It's a very, very deep, dark rabbit hole. And I think it's awesome. I'm not going to tell you about Am it. Am I going to have to Google this later? I hope somebody actually, like Smile Money or Rich, or goes down in the comments and explains to you what Adrenochrome is. I'm going to give you one piece of knowledge. Smile Money fact checks just about everything I say. So <laughs> Adrenochrome is a drug that comes from one place, and it is the adrenaline gland of a human being. Hmm. Now think about that. And the freshest ones are from kids. Hey, Caitlin, what are you doing later? <laughs> she's not a kid. Well, she's kind of a... Yeah. She, no, she, she's, know. she's youthful. Yeah. No, when I'm talking about kids, I mean... Like, I mean, what's... 13? That's your next birthday? And the scary thing about... Yeah. And the scary thing about adrenochrome, the higher the level of adrenaline that is being produced... Uh, when you take it out is the higher well you don't have to take anyway adrenochrome interesting so that's how Eric's sleeping I don't know where he got the adrenochrome from but he got it you have less neighbors <laughs> Ben N he says first from India Ben N I love Ben he always pops in the uh, speaker yeah. chat room good Saying hi from India. Uh, smile money. 24 hours later, regardless of the amount of alcohol consumed, the amount remembered is limited by the years of prior abuse and the gabapentin. I recommend post-it notes. That works. <laughs> Poco subcomment. Years of butt chugs. 
Miles. Poco, keep a couple of horses having some snacks. Joe, oh, just Remember? a couple. Just Remember. a couple of horses having some Yeah. Oh. Smile money. Did you lose Eric in a boating accident? <laughs> Fortunately, Jeremy was able to save his guns. Mm-hmm. He's here tonight, so <laughs> nothing happened, unfortunately. Din says, do some shots of the cheapest bottle in the house. And it's funny because the cheapest... No, never mind. So you know how they make Grey Goose vodka? I was going to ask you about the bottle sitting on the counter. So my buddy... God, this is everything I have, everything you bring up is a story. I'm going to need some, snacks. Please. Yeah. So Let's turn my microphone No, off. I won't go for it, but... Din, I, I apologize, but we're not Thanks. going to do shots of Grey Duck. <laughs> so gray. they make Grey Goose vodka. They also make Grey Duck vodka. And I have a really good friend that I met long, long, long ago. And he's very, very nice. Meaning he always brings crazy gifts like uh seedlings of pepper plants he's a pepper head a chili head he brings seedlings for me to plant in a garden the, what about the time he brought a spleen <laughs> and the adrenochrome so i said aaron i have all the vodka in this house that you want to drink but he brings over a half gallon or whatever of fucking gray duck the next cheapest bottle in my collection, and the only other bottle in my collection, is this. Now the question is, how is terrible. the vodka? Terrible. It's like pop-off. You know, or some of that cheap fucking Russian shit. I drink Pinnacle for a reason. Pinnacle is kind of, for me, at least, my experience, it's right in the middle. It's not horrible, and it's not really good but it's twenty dollars a 175 and i would drink two of them a week have you ever had a uh, silver wolf mm -mm. that sounds terrible i've told this story but it's been a long time go over to my friend bob he has a drinking problem yeah i do too Our he chooses vodka because you can drink vodka at work and nobody can smell it on your breath yeah i haven't got to that point yet he says i need to we were, we were over at his house for a band band practice yeah and he says do you want a drink and i say yeah and he says i also have to clean the heads on the recording unit <laughs> he goes over to the wolf. He comes in and he sets down the glass and it's a it's a tumbler almost completely filled with a clear liquid. Yeah, yeah. And of course I assume that it's my drink. So I start drinking it and I'm thinking, this is the worst tasting vodka I've ever had. And he comes back in with some rags to clean the recording unit and I'm like, what's in that glass? He goes, your vodka. I'm like, I didn't know if I wanted to feel good about what, what he told me or if I wanted yeah. to feel bad about how it tastes. But, yeah, it's like it comes in a big plastic jug. jug and uh, it's at the time it was probably like, like $9. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the nastiest shit. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. Imagine having to be so dependent. And I'm glad that I haven't got to that point or hadn't or will never get to that point. Because I'm very strong-willed. If I say I'm going to do something or not going to do something, I won't. But imagine those guys that have to drink uh, the hand sanitizer to feel good. You know, that's fucking insane to me. Drinking hand sanitizer? You've never heard, you've heard those stories. Oh, yeah. Okay. And scope? Yeah, and people that do duster for a living, right? I, I watched uh, Intervention. Caitlin really likes Intervention. And there was this lady that just fucking Kate, did... Caitlin needs an intervention. Yeah. She just did duster all day. You know, keyboard duster? Where you fucking... Oh, my voice is all fucked up. And then you the just dust go... dust off shit? Yeah. You turn it upside down and they... And Don't turn it upside down when you inhale it. So that's why duster puts uh, bitterants in their products. It's not because it gives a, the keyboard gives a fuck if there's bitterance in it. It's because when you stick the fucking straw in your mouth and press the button, you go, ooh, you that's good. Oh, when you turn so it upside good. down, it's like refrigerant. 
I used to shoot Daxi in the ass when she was sleeping with it. Yeah. So her little ass at off. one point in time, if she was sound asleep, you just go, Psst, and she'd spin around because she thought I had the can. Yeah. <laughs> he just made the made the sound. <laughs> no, they're serious duster addicts, and I won't say that I haven't tried it one time. Then there's spray whipping cream whippets. Yeah. There, Steve-o. There was an article uh, about a guy in Britain that they, when the, he broke into a convenience store, and the next morning when they came in, he was still there, and there was like 48 or something empty cans laying around him. Yeah. He, had, he had passed out. Yeah. See, I don't know if you ever, if anybody in the comments or you... If you ever want to see something really crazy is watch the documentary of Steve-O. That is fucking insane. How he, one time, the, the, so he was doing whippets on camera for like TMZ. And one time he opened his hotel room door and there was like two or three cases of whippets sitting on his thing, on his, outside of his door with the whippet canister. And then he proceeded to film himself do whippets. And he said for a lot of times where he would stop breathing for a long time. And then it showed the video of him doing whippets and just laughing insanely. And he, it, that, the, the documentary of Steve-O's drug addiction was a very eye-opening addiction film. Where's it on? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could. I watched it on YouTube, I think. And because he one hotel room, he it was a penthouse hotel room, and they came in threw all the furniture off the balcony and built a skate park inside the hotel room. And then his neighbor, his neighbor in the hotel or the condo would go, knock it off. So then he started punching holes through the fucking drywall, and pretty soon he was through the other side of the drywall where he could see the fucking guy, and he was threatening to end the dude's life through the drywall. And then, and on the other side, he was doing whippets. So they showed a picture, I think, at the end of the the hotel room or wherever he was living, and it was damn near a foot of empty whippet canisters all over the fuck. And when I'm talking about whippets, I'm talking about like the CO2 canister. You know, you put in your BB gun. Mm -hmm. You buy those at smoke shops, and they give you a a canister, and then you just go. <sighs> And they're legal, legal to buy. And but of course, it's like a lot of things like salvia. This is not for human consumption. But people are smoking salvia, fucking jumping out the second story windows and shit. Oh, anyway, off on a tangent again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Matt. I know. I'm entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I. Uh, so uh, far, Smile Money hasn't uh, told me I need the uh, bullshit button for you. Adrenochrome. I'm sure it's next. Rich says, IPA means India Pale Ale. Mm -hmm. Back when Great Britain had troops in India, they discovered that using more hops in a beer preserved the beer better for long ship trips from Great Britain to India. Okay, but where did the tropical fruitiness come from, Rich? So they had to add flavors to skunky beer, correct? I mean, it wasn't, it was, it, yeah, okay. Sharky subcomment, not only troops, they own the, the place uh, for Can about a century. Can you have a beer? Oh, there's only two left. How many are in the fridge in the kitchen? None? Of this? Poco says, uh, I like the uh, Lun Racing sticker in Jeremy's uh, uh, intro uh, hot rodding. So, yeah, this is uh, a Lun sticker. And it came with the boat. And when I moved in, this is the first thing I stuck on this cabinet that was here. Now this uh, Roadline Cruiser hot rod thing, it was from the previous owner. He was part of the uh, Borderline Cruiser Club. And so, no, I'm not into hot rodding. <laughs> I have a truck and a boat. Thanks alone, alone with company. Yeah, well, not sure what's gayer. You two or the Ryobi chargers in the background. Oh, fuck you. Look at this son you, of a you, bitch. You, Christopher, you definitely don't want to see this wall then. It's com <laughs> completely <laughs> covered. Look at this motherfucker, boy. You want to talk about a 
Oh boy, a hedge trimmer? Oh, with that big fucking battery on it. <laughs> Why, you <Yeah>. can go. <laughs> yeah. And what I like about Ryobi is this. Where's your hedge? Is this. You can turn it and cut yeah. like this. Oh, that's nice. Or turn it. So it's zero degrees to like 180. Yeah, I, I, I'm a first time home, home, homo, homo owner. Homo owner? <laughs> so I, 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 I asked around a lot and the guy that I, a guy that I really trust, I said, what should I buy? And he said, I have a lot of Ryobi shit and he really likes it. And the leaf blower, tits. Well, I don't want to offend anybody. All I can offend go off away? is, is what I see and know. Greg started with M Milwaukee stuff. Yeah. So the more stuff you bought, the more committed you have to be to Excellent. the color yeah. red. That's where I'm at right now. And I have all Makita. Yeah. And all I can tell you is the guy that owns the Milwaukee stuff never used his stuff. He always used mine. He thought my cordless uh, circular saw was lighter and more powerful than the Milwaukee. He always used my impact because he said that it was just as powerful and a hell of a lot lighter, lighter. than the Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, what, oh, uh, my multi-tool. He liked using my, my multi-tool over his because again, it was lighter and more powerful. And I, 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 I don't mean to offend anybody, but you could not pay me. Right now, if you said all your old used Makita stuff, I will take that all and give you brand new Milwaukee stuff, and I would say, "Fuck you, no." Yeah, you, you could. It couldn't do it because I've had the opportunity to use the stuff side by side, and when it comes to Ryobi, I know some. I just, I just gave, I just gave Matt a, a Ryobi table saw. Yeah, and I gave it to him because I just got a brand new one, and I wanted Matt to have. If I have doubles on stuff. I wanted to give it to somebody that can right. appreciate it and use it. And that Ryobi table saw was never a big hit because it was a Ryobi. And people always seem to put Ryobi in the lesser category. Yeah. But everybody that I know that has Ryobi stuff, I'd buy it again, is what, is what people say. And that table saw, the only complaint that I have about it is it is not a contractor friendly if you're going to put it in the back of a Fold truck, it up and, yeah. it's, it's, it's got delicate pieces that can easily be broken if you're yeah. going to be using it as a job site saw. But if you set it up in your garage and that's all you ever do with it, you will never have a complaint. I have, I've never broken a single piece on it. And the funny thing is, is they actually calculated for that. So like the slide has these plastic clips that glide it yeah. and that's double-ended. So if something happens to one side, you loosen up the screw and you turn it 180 degrees and you're, you're all set to go again. There's only a couple bitches I have about Ryobi and it's their like five amp hour battery. I had two of them, I think, and they're like $230 batteries. Oof. And they just took a shit right away. Just took a shit. But the, the exchange program's good. If they shit, they'll give them new batteries for nothing. But... I, uh, that fucking weed whacker right there, that motherfucker is, boy, that thing rips. Wasn't that right out of the box? Yeah, yeah. And I, of course, being me, I took the receipt and went, <laughs> who needs this receipt? <laughs> do, do, do. Plug the fucking battery in, it don't work. Oh, I need my receipt to re exchange this battery. So, I don't know. It was Home Depot stuff, and if if I find out that through the next year, that Ryobi sucks, I will take everything on that fucking wall, put it in the back of my truck, take it to our favorite sweetheart over there at hometown and dump it in the fucking dumpster. And not a lot of people have the opportunity to do that, but I'm just starting. I'm first time homeowner. So, you know, I've decided to go Ryobi and that's what I did. Well, as you know, I'm a big fan of horsepower and that comes from gas combustion yeah i i i'm not I gonna know. rail against the electric though i know i just recently bought an electric lawnmower yeah 
you couldn't give me the nicest, most expensive gas-powered lawnmower and ask me to trade. And as a matter of fact, I want to get their weed eater because I'm sick and tired of having to have mixed gas, trying to get the thing to run, right. and I, I, I plan on uh, upgrading to uh, the <coughs> electric. The Biden plan? Perfect. Oh, yeah, I got a windmill that powers my batteries. <laughs> Uh, oh, I forgot to mention a uh, lone company you can eat a dick. Uh, Poco. Touche. IPA. Uh, internationally poop alcohol. Agreed. It's shit. They designed it to taste good when it doesn't taste good. R Rich says, you, got, you guys actually got microphones right. Eric sounds like he's uh, on the right. Jeremy sounds like he's on the left. Yes, that was... That's because it was in stereo, and now we're trying mono. So don't really know what's going to happen until you'll know before we will. Well, what's crazy about this camera is since it's multi-directional, if you look, see, look at the screen, uh -huh. look at the screen, it shows all the directions that the mic is picking up. So now oh. it's picking up from two channels, left and right, front. It should, which just, is, it should just be one. They shouldn't yeah. hear us in separate channels. Right. And before, yesterday, I'd see you talking, and this side of the bars would be lighting up, and then I'd talk, and this side of the bars would light up. So I just didn't want to make sure that they would interfere with each other. Sub comment from Cheap Old Gun Guy. Oh, David Brown. Fuck. You've got your earbuds in backwards and upside down. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I was uh, uh, turned around in my chair. Poco, you met Pete because of fart videos. Who had the fart videos, you or him? I, yes and no. Oh, geez. I was on the, inter I was, I got laid off because Obama took office and we had another greatest economy ever. And I was bored one day and I went on YouTube and typed in fart videos. And I saw, well, there's a guy in a lawn chair wearing white spandex, getting ready to light his fart and the whole area went brown. Yeah, that was a fail. Did you ever see the, so you met, you really, so tell the rest of the story. On that bar on the right hand side, it, it showed Pete from the Armory Channel. I think because I had done a search for the uh, reassembling the Ruger and that's, I found Pete via, yeah, I was, I was original. I was originally on YouTube looking up fart, fart videos gone bad. That's what I did the, the search for. That is very creepy. Did you ever? <laughs> no, I'm I'm just being honest. Did you ever see the video of the guy lighting his fart just at the same moment his cat jumped through the frame? <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh my god! Oh if my you haven't seen that shit, oh, that's funny as hell. Poco, it would take me ten minutes to upload. No, a, no, no! Wait, a, wait, wait! No, wait! An just, hour at 4K. Just chill out for a second. I'm gonna let these guys <laughs> see this at least. So there's a dude. Yeah, and he's lighting his fart on fire, and the cat jumps through the frame exactly. Oh, shit. I, now I want to see it. <laughs> no, no, wait, slow motion. Oh, the internet. It's, uh, it shows it in slow motion, and as the cat jumps through, the cat's on fire. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. The cat was on fire. What is that on? Don't... Instagram. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what about your... Oh, yeah, my internet sucks out here. Sorry. All right. What, so, what, yeah. was, the, what was the purpose of that range extender? <laughs> I didn't want to pay Midco to come in and put... Oh, no. Well, see, he's bragging, and I probably would be too, but I think uh, Rapoco's on, like, fiber optic, so oh. it's... His, I, I'm at like 495 gigs a second or something on a download, but my upload is limited to 21. Yeah, I know everybody's got better shit than I do. I don't fucking care. Poco, Jeremy, got any uh, sockets or hand wrenches? Someone wanted uh, mine more than me. 
Well, I'm sorry to hear that somebody ripped you off, Poco, but yes, I have piles and piles of mismatched sockets and sets and hand wrenches, open end box hand wrenches, but I guess at this point that they're spoken for and not by him. Bad says, greetings, Captain. Then he says, no cowbell, you're fired. With me? I, I could go fuck off somewhere else. Zeus got, uh, oh, sorry. $2,000 in a 43X carry pistol. Jeez. Caitlin's got a 43X. Nine. McCline, Jeremy, are you and me bros? Question <laughs> mark. I don't want you to put on a put you on the spot here, but uh, will you uh, be my brother? Sure. When I say brother, thank you. That means that you have my respect and my best wishes. I don't mean that we're really brothers. McCline says the audio is creepy good. I keep uh, looking around for you guys in my room. <laughs> Hell yeah! Jeremy is TT Night Night? Drunk? I don't know what that means. Jolson, we have contractual obligations regarding cowbell, sir. Uh, fuck it, I didn't bring it with me. And I don't even fucking own a cowbell and I wouldn't. That's so annoying. See? There's two camps. There's no middle ground on that fucking cowbell. Love it, hate it. I blame Tardisius. <laughs> well, I blame that I work in a loud environment with running machines and clinking and clanking and shit all fucking day. And to hear a cowbell ring. But at least Eric my, warns me. I, I believe my, my, my cowbell collection is all because of Tardisius. And, and, the, and the one with the handle on it yeah. is like the fucking yeah. 454 Casual version of a cowbell. Yeah, and I don't discriminate against cowbell lovers. I respect you equally. I do. That's America. Do I, what the fuck you I, want I, to I will, do. I will admit this. I won't, Matt. <laughs> I remembered the fuck Joe Biden button and honestly forgot about the cowbell. Thank you, Jesus. I, I know. Maybe sublimity, subliminal, subliminal. You know that word. You know the thing. Come on, man. Okay, moving on. Uh, Wade, I used a Canon Mini X camera when I made videos. Depending on the condition, it still goes for four to six hundred dollars used on eBay. Yeah, yeah. That was. I think that was the Matt, the demolition Matt camera. He uses a Canon. The yeah, very stupid high fucking quality. But the microphone is still very suscept susceptible. It's very susceptible to wind. <laughs> so that's that was my whole thing is I live in Minnesota, so it's all plains. So a lot of my videos were ruined by wind noise. And when you find a microphone that is A, rechargeable, and B, not susceptible to wind noise, that's the one. And this is the one. Yeah. Susceptible. Because so I, I can go out there because it's windy right now. Well, this, it doesn't have the dead cat on it right now. I took the dead cats off so you wouldn't have like a furry fucking cat on your chest. But I told you the story about the... Oh, oh touch, touch me again. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> like her. <laughs> I told you the story about the... I said touch my nipple. Not oh, try to take it I'll off. Caress it. I'm sorry. I have a chain, a, a tree no, saw. I it in. So, but in any, I told you the story about the the double A, triple A thing with the microphone thing, and not knowing if it's charged when you're at the range. That's a bunch of bullshit. You're sitting there so, going, yeah, and I would. So, what is in this? Nothing. It's I don't know. So, what if you ever have to replace it? Then I buy another two hundred and fifty dollar mic set. See, that's why that's why uh, J Dog bitches about this, because the le the battery is internal. So if it goes bad, you got to get another one. I don't care. I'm just like by that point in time. Don't care. I'll just get another one. I don't care. It wasn't expensive enough that. 
I don't care. Yeah. It, w rather than I bet you can get it open with a hammer. Yeah, but then you're yeah. Well, <laughs> otherwise you're worrying about fucking battery life. Then the screen's broke. Yeah. Uh, Jolson says, "Love me some dick." I mean, sours. Yeah. Jolson, me hopefully within the next few months, I can get access to my garage floor. Okay. Smile money. Well, my bad. <clears throat> the recap of yesterday's brew review information. Of course, we start. We started to discuss Porter, but went into IPAs. I know. I was off on a tangent. Wow, there's a lot of sub comments to whatever Salty says. Jesus it's Christ. okay. Fire away. We got time. Happy naked, happy life. Mr. 27 says no. Sharky or uh, Salty says yes. Mr. 27 says double naked, no. Salty says triple naked, yes. 27 quadruple, no naked. Okay, so they have to work some stuff out on their own. Yeah. Touch tips, hug a little. Tom says, I am more of a logger guy myself. Me as well. Smile money. Today, the term stout and porter are used in different breweries almost interchangeably to describe dark beer and have uh, more in common than dis distinction. The term stout morphed from strong porter, so basically, oh. it's a beer. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's just a beer. Yeah. But, you know, with your your professionalism, you know, oh, it's, it smells like notes of penis. But <laughs> Damn! I almost got him. I, I've been waiting. He just takes a drink and then I hit him, but... I, I would love nothing more than to watch Eric just wreck blow his laptop. Be out of his nose. No, but I mean, there's be like me. IPA. Yes. There's the Zen Master. <laughs> no open flames around yeah, her. Yeah. No IPA. There's senses of tropical fruitiness and blah blah blah. But you know, you'd think that Porter would be chocolate. The cat's or... on fire. <laughs> anyway. But you think with porter, it would be a distinct flavor of caramel or vanilla bean or something. So, yeah, it's just a beer. I got you. I and guess I guess sort of what he just said, I always look at a porter as a weaker diluted stout. stout. Okay. Of any flavor, though? Like, so what's well, stout I've is... I've had peanut butter. I've had chocolate. Yeah. It, it's... Okay. Well, it's kind of no, like it's kind of like someone stepped on it. Yeah, and they got, there's, they got there's, <laughs> there's no fruit in stout though. It's not like triple berry bomb, right? No, you know no. what I mean. So it's chocolate. It's well, notes of chocolate. You might, you might run across like raspberry. I've had raspberry stouts, so it's chocolate and raspberry. Okay. Or chocolate and. And peanut butter goes good with chocolate. I get you, especially if you have a dog. Yeah, I was, uh, you beat me to that. Smile <laughs> <laughs> uh, so money. Now, a lager is made from the bottom of the barrel. Cold brewed takes longer to brew. Then he says rivets. Maybe Matt could rivet his palate teeth into his palate dentures. Mm. Well, you want, you're going to want to definitely have the... Uh, the the po air-powered one? Air-powered. Uh, the pneumatic one for that. EMT, using a big glass because you don't want to drink four beers, is like the old Yogi the Bear quote, cutting the pizza into six slices because I'm not hungry enough to eat eight. Yeah, I'm not hungry enough to eat a whole pizza. Mr. 27 says 43rd. Then he says intro brat kid brew balmy. Then he says fuck Joe Biden and his garage. Fuck Joe Biden! Fuck Joe Biden! Hang on. Then he says, more cowbell. Ding, da, ding, 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 ding. Wait, I got some steel. Oh, by the way. Hold on, hold, hold on. Let's see if the steel sounds anything like cowbell. By the way, just for... No, not really. Just for the record, I scared the fuck out of myself in your bathroom. <laughs> in this bathroom? This morning, I ran out of toilet paper, so I changed it. 
which was a challenge all to itself because there's so many different means of how toilet rolls come apart. And yours is like this long, but only this much of it is the compression area. Oh, and you didn't break it, did you? No. But now you're going to be doing contractor work here. But okay, you. when I put the toilet roll in, evidently one side was completely in and one side had just stuck on the ridge. <laughs> so I went to blow my nose and as I pulled it, it went in and it snapped almost as loud as a goddamn 22 going off. So I shit <laughs> a little. Yeah. It's fucking loud. I was like, Pulling yeah. your fucking HK. Put a fucking cap in its ass. And we're in the Sharky. Normally, no, not this time. Normally, Sharky means we are at the end. Yeah, but the brew reviews have been all fucking different. Late. Well, it's the weird time that it's... It's actually probably going live in Sharky's normal time. Because yeah. he's... Take whatever time it is right now and add seven hours. And that's where he is. Change of pace, right? Fuck. Oh, I'm good with it. I don't care. And where are my hedges? They're right there. You see? Did you use that thing on them? Yeah, not this year yet because they're not. Blue. So you went down to the neighbors and sculpted it into a penis? No, we have mics on. Come here. We got mics on. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking still... about? What about that whole fucking hedge line? <laughs> Did you do the round one? Yeah. Impressive. Well, thank you. And then this pile of shit. Now, see, some of them are starting to touch the power lines. That's going to be a problem this year. No, this was all perfectly flat, perfectly square. I see. Is that your Subaru? God, that thing's a piece of shit. Yeah. There isn't, there isn't a square fucking inch on that that doesn't have a dent. Sorry I guess that's for what, the... I would like to have known what that hailstorm looked like. Oh, man. I bet it was crazy. But that's how you get a, a car with low miles and runs and, and runs and drives straight. But someone people don't want it because it doesn't look I'm like fuck I told Sam I said I don't give a shit I was going to tell you that earlier like there's not a panel on this car that doesn't have hail damage and I looked at it and went who fucking cares to get better gas mileage and it was actually it was fun to drive I never yeah. once got drowsy the entire time coming down here well then again it was raining like a motherfucker so I was <laughs> wondering if I was going to die <laughs> fucking beer your Michelada on the fucking dash I know it's got a beer it's got it could have two beers in the Okay, moving on. <laughs> Sharky, cheers all. Didn't cheers. have any issues with sound wise in the previous reviews, but then again, I watched these in my kitchen on a 24 inch monitor using a JBL and Harman Kardon speakers. Uh, might, or that might help. Read more button. Uh, this one with the extra microphones does add a level of hearing you guys drink and eat. Laugh out loud. Yeah, Jolson listens to his this brew review on a tin can with a string. Yeah, like to his. And he's know. in a semi, and it's there's a reel <laughs> as he's leaving the home. Yeah, well, that happens. I get it. We'll turn the mics down a little bit tonight. If they're too loud right now, let us know. I'll turn them. They're on five. They were on seven last night, so I'll turn them down to three if it's still too loud. See what happens. Well, you can actually turn them down to zero and do the whole brew review with no fucking sound. Yeah, we're drinking fucking beers. Should be good. I'll have to bring some cardboard home and. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Fuck David Brown. We'll go to the Trump store that we drove by on the way to the. <laughs> can we get about 16 Trump flags? Appreciate it. Oh, there's a, a darker. You keep reading. I got security. Okay. Sharky says, uh, Michelle and her boyfriend and Mike are cool people. Hold but on. But Matt is like a care care caretaker. Fucker's moving. Don't get gloating and crap if you read this, Matt. Is that a crack pipe? Sharky, no, no, no. I'm not keeping track of the board. I've just dealt with the uh, ISO audit. I'm good. Sharky, SH. Shh. David J. fucking Brown. Jeremy sounds like he's been training since he was in diapers to be a Hulkster voice over actor. <laughs> Welcome to 93.7. Yeah. Mike says, cheers, kiddos. Cheers. 
here, Mike. I mean, I don't, I don't 41, know. 41, so I don't know if I'm I qualify. 50, I'm 57. I, I don't. That's like when Matt calls me kid. Yeah. Matt. Just go. Psh! Matt, I was knocking chicks up before you were born. Yeah. Kiddo, my you ass. You might even be my son. Yeah, bitch. Grandpa calls me kiddo. Did. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Well, that's because you're 14. No. Uh-oh. We got you're, problems. You're going to get bit slapped. 24? 30, yeah. 31? 29. <laughs> I look like I'm 14. You were, talking about, you were talking about doing a little bit of this. Just get one of those. <laughs> Are you mail, mail order? Not to Duluth, though. <laughs> no, I told her. No, she's fucking coming with. Good. If I have to, I'll put her on the riff rack. Fuck yeah, I'll get to walk around with cookies. <laughs> be like this. Be like this. Open the sunroof. How you doing? I'm oh, fine. Okay, shut the sunroof. Hand her a nutter butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What did you have last night? Those peanut butter bars. Uh, the Reese's. Hershey's. Yeah, Reese's peanut butter bars. Those are actually pretty good. Well, you're going to take every fucking bit of them with you in the rivet stack. <laughs> we'll I'll, put a, I'll put a rivet in yeah. every one of the snack cake. He's uh, not taking them all. Those are mine. Yeah. I'll eat them. Oh, thanks, Tim, for taking the rivets. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll search and make sure I find them all because every time I turned around, Fuck. I took a picture and I'm like, this is a lot of fucking rivets. Walked back into the mechanical room More and another rivets. box. Filled with various yeah. kinds. Does anybody want any ice cleats? <laughs> Some ice cleats that you could not die on? He was ahead of his shit, though. Like I said, I got a botten, botten, purchased. A bot. Uh, I have a purchased pair that I used when we were on the job site, and they are, for the most part, what he designed. Before you leave, I'll show you his three patents that he had, or two. One of them is a mag loader, actually, and so that's cool. The other one is a ladder standoff, which was really cool. So when you put your ladder up against your house, it doesn't rest on the gutters. And you look at it and you go, that fucking ladder's got wheels on it? What the fuck? But it's auto-adjustable, or it's self-adjusting. So when you put your ladder up against your house, the wheels sit on your shingles and stand off the ladder from your gutters. And when you... Fuck, it's nice. But he always went after the hard, the big, the hard fish to catch. Meaning that if you have a patent that has anything to do with safety, like ladders, it's very difficult to get into the game. So instead of the one that you see at the hardware store now, it's just that C-shaped thing. So it sits on the your siding. No, and stands off. You're telling me this stands off from the shingles. Shingles. And it, it auto, like I said, it's got six we, little wheels on it, that, that, and they sit right on your shingles. And the more weight you put on it, the more weight is on the, the little wheels. See, that? Pretty cool. It works fucking good, too. My house has two different levels of gutters. Yeah. And I've never in my life, in the 15 years that we've owned the house, those upper, those upper ones could be completely <coughs> filled. I can't get there. Yeah. The longest extension ladder I have doesn't reach them. <laughs> and then, of course, if you're cleaning the gutters, you, like, set a ladder up, clean six feet, maybe three feet in each direction, come down, move it. Ah, fuck that. Yeah. I know. I look at mine every day. Oh, last comment. Mike says, damn good sounding beer to the triple bomb. I don't think it had enough alcohol to pacify him. <laughs> it didn't come with a bottle of Everclear. Okay. Here's where you put me on the spot. Because I don't know what I originally ever rated this at. It's, obviously it's very drinkable. Yeah. It is a little on the sour side. Rhubarb. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure because some of my favorite stuff I'll never get to have again. My grandmother's rhubarb pie. Oh, jeez. And, it, and it, it wasn't sour. I mean, she probably put 10, 10 pounds of sugar into it yeah, when she made yeah. it. But 
overall as a beer and, and no disrespect because if my refrigerator was filled with this i wouldn't be like you know calling suicide hotline but overall i'd i'm thinking like a seven yeah i'd give it about an eight i don't know why i i i, I do get the slight hint of rhubarb but it's not like going to the garden and you know but it's good it's drinkable it's oh, like cheaper. I, like I said, if my refrigerator, like like the time that Miles hooked me up with the, when he was working for Burnix. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we had to reinforce the shelves in my refrigerator because it, Jerry opens up the refrigerator and it was like, what? I mean, harps played. Yeah. We had, we had some, that's how I ended up with a refrigerator. Greg said, take the refrigerator from the job site. I'm going to call. I'm going to call the higher ups and tell them that it was shot so that it needs to be replaced. Yeah. That's how I ended up with my original refrigerator. Nice. I don't like anything from Mankato Brewing. Oh, I blew it. I don't like anything from Mankato Brewing at all. <laughs> Free tattoo. Yeah. I, uh, uh, I've had I, a lot of stuff from them. I think I've had all. quite a few things, and I've never been overly impressed. You know, it's really funny. Your face. The, the cover for your boat, is at the exact same arc as the flag, Second Amendment flag behind it. It is. <laughs> I gotta get down to your level. That's oh, the yeah. suspension, fucker. I'm talking about the. I know. I get it. Yeah, I actually got that from a war vet, an Iraq war vet. Really? Those, those three flags are cool. He, he's told me some, boy. He told I me wish I had the space to do what you're doing right there because I don't know if you've ever noticed my, my flag collection. Yeah, no. It's this thick. And right. they're, all, they're all clipped together yeah. and they're, they're, they're actually a door cover for what the... Do you, what do you think about that fucker? That's a fuck. That's a nice flag. Thank you. That thing is, it's not heavy, but that's a big bitch. Yeah. This crazy was that five by five foot by six foot. Yeah. Very cool. That's all. That's man. That's a big flag. Very patriotic. No, the guy that gave me the Second Amendment flag, his nickname is Rooster, and he fought in Iraq, and he was house to house clearing. And he said, when he, uh, oh, fuck. They saw that shit already. They didn't see that one, though. Holy shit, how big <laughs> it looks on the monitor. It's like, those are all, bi those are all big flags. And then you get over that, ta-da! It's, like yeah. it's like half your garage wall. Yeah. No, he would, uh. He would tell me stories of all sorts of shit. Boy. Yeah, I, I got to figure out. A, for a while, I was... Uh, oh, damn it, I don't know, moved for, a fucking tripod. Jesus, now we're all for, fucked for, up here. You got to put, like, tape marks on the floor. No, he would uh, tell me stories about finding insurgents of the Taliban. And his favorite weapon was the knife. If he could get in... He said that he watched many Taliban members that he stabbed where their eyes would start to dry out as he was. Is this a cheerful part of the conversation? Yeah, yeah I thought it was cheerful. Okay. Terrorists? You like terrorism? I, I'm, very, I'm very open about the fact that, and I don't care if people are offended, towel heads and the amount of uh, these fucking... Uh, Somalians that uh, Obama literally, I mean, fucking fact check that all you want, dumped in Minnesota. They destroyed the upper side of Minneapolis, the nice suburbs around, around Lake Cal Calhoun. And they're just trying to establish, like, I just heard a thing today. Would you vote for Biden or would you vote for Trump? All of fucking Minnesota is for Trump. 
Except for Minneapolis. Yeah, and Duluth. Fucking Christine. Just kidding. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's sad. I mean, Minnesota almost went Republican for president last time. Yeah. But it's like the Twin Cities is just basically filled with uh, people that are mind manipulated. They can't think for themselves. And they just see the Democratic Party as the handout party. Right. Yeah. Only at election time, though. The rest of the time, you're just the sucker. Yeah. But listening to war stories from people that were there, in, well, in Iraq, especially, yeah, after the, the World Trade Center and the whole fucking deal, and the, the, the well, most of Osama. Them, most of them don't want to talk about it, though, so if you actually yeah. can have a conversation with somebody. Yeah. So I made enough impact on that gentleman to have him send me a beautiful Second Amendment flag and... He was a very cool guy, and I was definitely there to listen about his war stories and, and his love for absolutely demolishing terrorism. Maybe what I should do is rotate some of my flags outside. My favorite flag is, it's not quite as big as that, but it's cloth, and it's on a uh, no-tangle assembly that Cobra sent me. Yeah. I remember you saying that. I know yeah. the Cobra story, but and I can tell you that was a uh, a three digit price tag for that flag. That flag right there, free of charge. When I took that down in my apartment, I told you about the smoking and the behind the flag was just a big, beautiful white wall, and my landlord really hates me. See but the problem. The problem is, is the flag that you see in the background normally for me. Yeah looks brand new on one side but it's the wrong direction and it's uh very sun faded on the other side but that that also is a cloth flag this one's not cloth though no but it's impressive i get you <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, it's like those are big flags and you get to that and it literally it would three of those flags would cover the back wall of, of your garage yeah that flag right there, a lot of people are offended by because it's black. So it's a black flag. It disrespects the United States of America. But I actually got that from a really good friend at American Resistance from Texas. I got to go into his shop and do a tour. And that's on my YouTube channel as well. But American Resistance is a big Second Amendment gun shop. Very cool people. So... Michael from So if it's if it's from somebody massively pro the United States then what is the offense of the flag? I don't know. It's black. It's not red, white and blue. That one's actually sewn like it, the stars are all sewn which is really cool. But like I said I just moved here Eric less than a year ago and then my grandfather passed so we're still trying to establish a homestead. Everything. Yeah, it's been rough, but here we are. I do have a serious question. Maybe you choose not. No, never mind. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> I, I already know what the. I think I already know what the answer is. No. If you yeah, if you were that. if you're still in the apartment, and your grandfather passed, would you still have sold the house or moved into it? <clears throat> you would have sold it. Because it brings back too many, too many memories. Yeah, well, but his wishes were for me to move in. And, like, I respected his wishes to the end of nothing. I mean, he gave me, he didn't, have, he, so that's what's, the, what's weird about my grandpa is in his will, it was Jeremy gets every fucking thing. Everything. But every week he would go, this is my list. This is your job as the man to make sure all this shit gets done and so i could put my feelings in the situation and go fuck you fuck you fuck you i'm taking everything but i have been very good and very faithful to his last dying wishes to give money to people that i think i fucking hate but still it was it wasn't my wishes it was his right so <clears throat> this boat was sitting in his garage for the last two years, I think. But uh, 
I don't know. I probably would have, it would have been a shit show. It would have given me more time, meaning as far as if, if I would have held off buying this property and then he would have passed and I was still living in the apartment. It would have given me more time to do other things. Like, I'd live there. I would have lived there for another year or two and just paid one one property tax, one bill for this, one bill for that. But you see what's in there. So it would have been hard for me to take what I had in my apartment and go, yeah, we're just going to move into his house. Fuck yeah. <laughs> when he had all 93 years worth of shit. And so I would have been living amongst garbage. Not not garbage. I would have been living amongst stuff. Stuff. And then also you being there while I'm trying to sleep there. Caitlin's trying to sleep there. You're trying to sand the ceiling and the deck while we're at work. Okay. And you would have had been... sleeping? And well, and you would have been staying there too, but it would have given me more of a chance to go, okay, I own a house now, one house, one property, and then I could have slowly done the things that I wanted to to that property and then sold that house. And then this was a very panic buy. Well, I it just, was like, I just, I just figured it would have been more convenient for you to have that, but it kind of fell exactly under. The exact same situation that me and Christine had. She had, um, I think she, she, I think she owned her house free and clear. Yeah. And I was renting a house in a beautiful location for nine hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah. And she sold her place and moved in with me because she didn't want us to be in a place that was her and the piece of shit ex. So for gotcha. her, it was just re memories that kept, would be brought back up. Yeah. So that's why, that's why, in the long run, if I would have just fucking let my, uh, my, my house go and moved in with her, Jesus Christ, this whole time, that was an owned house. There would have been no house payment. Yeah, right, right. So, but. For me, it wasn't about the memories so much. Really? I mean, I, I could have slept. I could have moved my bed into his room where he slept and been fucking fine. So it, it, it wasn't about that. It was just about how things happened. And his wishes were, that's why he permanently took double-sided tape and stuck his painting up on the wall, on this beautiful painted drywall, and said, this is going to be here for fucking ever. And so he, he, that was his wishes for me to live there. But then towards the end, like when he was in the nursing home and I kind of was like, listen, I could have bought a house 20 fucking years ago, but I'm respecting your wishes. And so I finally told him, I said, I got to start looking. And then it was like two weeks, boom, I'm into a house and I didn't tell him and my mom told him you know and so i walk into the nursing home like what up dog how's it going you know and he goes tell me about the house you're buying and so that was a, and then but then after that it was like he came here I, I actually picked him up from the nursing home in his lincoln and drove him into the garage with his cane and he got out we went into the house and i said this is the living room this is what we bought and he goes you know if I were you, I would sell my house and then take the money and improve your house. And I said, so that's how that whole story went. I don't mean to bore. Well, we could turn this off and just shoot the shit, but. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I appreciate answering that question. Hell yeah. And I even have even more respect for your grandfather. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Instead of making a scene, I mean, maybe he didn't even feel that way, but he was he, he was so supportive of you. Yeah, and it wasn't like a family house that he had grown up in for 93 years, right? There, there's a difference there, you know, whereas if it was like your grandma's grandma's house mm -hmm. and it was a farm property, but you got to also think about, especially people that live in this area that inherit 500 acres of farmland and a ranch or not a ranch like a, 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 a farm property you know where the buildings are all full of tractors and shit that their grandpa's grandma drove and 
that that's a little bit different whereas with his house he you know when he retired he went fuck this when i retire i'm selling the house and i'm going to fucking florida and they made a big mistake doing that they <clears throat> Instead of going down there and like staying in a hotel for a while and checking out Florida, they sold their fucking house, bought a, a, a motor home, and just picked up everything and fucking left. Sold everything in auction. Went down to Florida. They were down there for like two months and they were like, this fucking sucks. I can't, I don't have a basement. Everything's on wheels. I don't have separation from my wife. <laughs> you know, you're in a motorhome, right? So they decided to come back and bought a house. And that's the house. So they lived in, they lived in a lot of different places. and They made some mistakes, but everybody does. And I've learned a lot of shit from him. I, I tell you, when you said Grandpa's house, in my brain, I imagined this, like, two-story house on the end of a long driveway with like fielding all the way around it yeah. and then yeah. basically your grand your grandfather's house the whole thing reminds me exactly of my grandparents house really they lived on it was called it was allendale and it parallels uh, woodland avenue a very driven road yeah and the houses have the same spread the same looks and I was like, holy shit, this is like, you hit that location over there is exactly my grparents' house. That's cool. <laughs> it's a cool location, though, right? The backyard's yeah. a fucking cornfield. I mean, field. you don't have to worry about anybody showing up in your backyard. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's like, what? It's got to be at least, uh, at least a thousand yards to oh, the end fuck. of the cornfield. Because I, I was thinking, hey, if we could put some <laughs> targets up some and then salt. shoot from your grandfather's deck. <laughs> After it's finished. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully it don't fucking rain. But, yeah. I hope that everything works out. and It will. One way or another, it's going to work out. You know, we got a lot of... You've done a lot of shit, and I'm very appreciative of that. But, yeah, it's been... It's, it's like I said, there's a difference between... It's all shit that I've been doing for the, you know, the last... 12 fucking years so it's like if it's something that i've done I, and i feel comfortable with it fuck make my pot of coffee head over there do the shit that i do in the morning while i'm waiting for mr do to burn off of the deck and praying to god that we stay dry looking like it is right now so tomorrow i'll do take care of the patches and then move outside and start start staying in the deck i'm just very happy that you're comfortable with are your your staying conditions i'm i'm glad that oh you guys are great i'm glad that you're here Thank you. no I, i'm not even no sarcasm hell yeah i very much appreciate it. it's like i just feel like i'm at home yeah except for I'm, your you know you're not except for, I'm, <laughs> yeah, except for i'm not you're not a tear <laughs> no it's 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 great i'm i'm glad i'm able to help and you guys is yeah, I've had, I've had some first. I've never had a shrimp. I love helicopter. Wow. That's the Mayo Clinic helicopter. So I live very close to the Mayo Clinic. So when that helicopter takes off or lands, you know somebody just got in a fucking rollover accident. I yeah. I seen one yesterday. The, just the, landing the at the Mayo Clinic yesterday. The helicopter is not a good sign for somebody. Right. Or it's a good sign because they're being well, fast, quickly taken care of. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, I'm tangent. Just, no, I'm just. I'm glad I'm able to help because it's stuff that I feel comfortable doing, and it's it's been fun. And yeah, I just wish we had more. I hope that in the future, you and Christine could come down, or just you, and we can go to the fucking range, have some fun. You know. Yeah, I where think, where is the range from here? <coughs> twenty seven zigzags because of the way the fucking roads are laid out. No, it's twenty seven miles from here. Seriously? So every time I filmed any video for my audience, not well, 
partially this audience. I would drive 20, 25 miles probably to the range, but it's fucking gorgeous, you know. It's a private range, so it's all fenced off. But, you know, my... What's, what's their policy on guests? Now it's not good, because it just changed... It ours, just changed ours, ours is bullshit. I can only bring one person. Only yeah. cost that person five bucks, but I can only bring one fucking person. So what I would do is I would, like me and Kate, technically we're not married, so Caitlin's been a guest, really, for this whole time. But all I'd have to do is put a wedding ring on. She already has one. So I could just call and say, actually, you'd be my guest. Yeah, so, when, when's that shit going to happen? What? Marriage? Mm-hmm. Never. We're already married. Yeah, we're... It's just a piece of paper, Eric. Fuck off. No, so the range is quite a ways from here, I but... I can send that paper right now. <clears throat> what's really cool is downtown Fairmont, there's a pistol range underneath the big businesses downtown. Which is, it's insane because you have all these cool businesses and Jake's Pizza that we had, the shrimp pizza and all that shit. And then below one of those buildings is a fucking gun range. Pizza. It's a gun range. So I lived a half a block from the downtown gun range. So I could walk out of my apartment with my fucking handgun and put the coat in, walk downstairs, and shoot handgun. But the problem is, is that's where the cops train. So I'd be down there by myself at midnight. Is it still open? Yeah. And then I look over my shoulder, and there's half the Fairmont Police Department fucking standing there. I'm shooting bullseyes, you know. Oh, it was not good, but... Meanwhile, they can't hit the fucking target to save a yeah, soul. Yeah. I, I, watched a, I watched a video of their... their yeah. Another tangent. 82 shots were fired and not a single one hit. Yeah. From cops. Yeah. And that and that that percentile is universal across the United States. So I think even if I ha- even if one of these days that you are not working on the house, if we get the things done that we needed to get done, I think I'll pay you an extra day. Even if it's raining or windy or whatever, I think you and me should go and look at the five lakes that are in Fairmont. And then we should take a trip out to my range and just take some things. Just Not like a full range day. Just go out there and even just show you where it's at. I'll take you to a couple local restaurants. and I, I have 10 mags for this. Yeah. Well, the one that's in it, I'm not going to shoot. I think it'd be cool. I mean, just to go out and, you know, yeah. Well, you've shot that a couple times. That is beautiful. 1983 vintage. I was born in 82. My favorite thing about that is the M1 action. Oh, God, please don't drop it. Bonus bonus club time. Yeah, that tilting. Yeah, just like... like. When you shoot this thing, it is the sound that it makes. I don't even know how to use this fucker. Is that that ka-ching when it uh, last round? No. Like the, like the grand. But you have to push the... Push Can you get grand thumb off of that? Sure sounds like you could. Could. Jesus Christ. Sounds like a meat slicer. But just the that original sound is so beautiful. And then, of course, you know, the... Where did you get that from? I remember at the time... Gun broker. Yeah, I was going to say, you were all excited because... $1,200... Just the stocks right now are selling for twelve hundred. Yeah, very cool piece of equipment. Even with earmuffs on, when you shoot this thing, you could hear that ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk. Treat it like a. Nuzzle swept. Yeah. Yeah, this this was actually a lot of fun to shoot. And it's just so beautiful. Yeah, very cool little rifle. And I wasn't even a fan of the A-Team, and still, 
What's that say? What, what comes to mind? I, I just see the van and Mr. T, Mr. T climbing out. Yeah. Rock and lock, baby. Rock and lock. So, yeah. How many rounds is that? 20? Yeah. And then the Mini 14s are 30. But, of course, they're proprietary mags. From Ruger, they're not AR mags. <laughs> I just like everything about it. The takedown's cool. The bolt hold open. It's very cool. You know, it's... Last, last round hold open. Yeah. Yep. The way it comes apart, very Ruger-ish. Anyway. I'm not gonna put that fucker back up there. Yeah, we're, we're in the club and we should just... Yeah, we should hit it so Caitlin can make some macaroni and cheese. I'm surprised the water's not boiling already. She already said she didn't want to cook. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go to the ranch. Rich says, cheers, clubbers. Pablo cheers, says, Rich. says, the end is near. Bad says, howdy, clubbers. Din says, snort some cheese whiz. No, I'm good. Thanks, man. It's about how money. Did I make it? Cheers, clubbers. We should just not heart him. So he <laughs> like I did the Sharky. And Salty says, double naked club time. And let, let's see if it, the light's green. The light's green. The trap's clean. Look at this fucking barrage we have here. Jesus, God. It is like a... It's a just a. Okay, I gotta put this back up here. Oh! Century Arms. Made in China, baby. Made in China. It's loaded. Open your mouth. <laughs> Perspective. Yeah, I didn't put um, that at Eric's face. Um, well, yeah, I did. I should, uh. I got my multi-tool. I can fix that up for you. Fix what up? I would... <gasps> I would just go right down that angle right there and then right at the end of the... The handguard? Right at the end of the handguard. Hell ever, yeah. Ever seen the movie Gator? Yes. Can you fix this up too? Can you make it into a... Photo. That would be the only thing that that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change a fucking thing about that other than maybe the rate of fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate just touching it. It's like Please the Benelli. Touch it. touch it. It's like the Benelli. Softly. All right. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Cheers. Deuces. Deuces.